Hello! In this video, I will show you how it's possible to use artificial counter in SQL queries. That artificial counter is a list of numbers of dates which you can use inside your SQL queries and without necessity to make special storage procedures with cycles and cursors. Such artificial counter often you may need if you need to calculate some statistical figures based on the date or some other numbers but when original or initial data doesn't have all possible dates. For example, let's take a look on the fake data which we used for other examples, like here. What we can see that in this list for August we have only seven sales orders for seven different dates. But if we will need to calculate how much uh, orders we have per day, then we need to know total quantity of, of days. But we don't have those all. And that's why maybe we need to, ha to have the list of all possible dates. As well, for example, if we need to show monthly trend for August, then uh, these seven records uh, will be quite misleading because we need to show not only those seven days but all day, days of the month, like in this example. Here on the left hand side you can see that uh, we show only that these seven days but uh, on the right hand side we show the full month, all days of the month and uh, for those days where we have sales we show corresponding figures and in order to calculate statistic or trend then that example would be more correct. But how to do this artificial counter in the SQL? Probably the first idea which came into your mind will be cursor with variables. But uh, that cursor is not possible to use in basic queries. You can use it only inside storage procedures. Now I will show you how it's possible to build in artificial counter into the basic query which you can execute on the fly. For that we will use system tables. System tables sys dot all columns. Why? Because in order to get long list of the numbers we can simply calculate how many entries we have in some system tables. Since all SQL versions have all column table, that's why we can calculate how many records we have in this table, like this. First of all, I will show you what we have inside this uh, table. Yes, you can see that quite many rows, around 9000 rows uh, in this table. But uh, what we can do that uh, we can calculate the number of records in this table like written here. If counter from 1 till now 9500 is not enough, then you can make a cross join to the same table which will multiply all entries in one table on all entries in another table. In that case you will get, to, I don't know, maybe around 90 millions of uh, records in the counter. So let's look on example. For the beginning let's execute the script with uh, only one column. We can see on the right hand side that there is 
9.5 thousand but if we will take both tables which will be multiplied by cross join then we get uh, much more records i will not wait when uh, this query will finalize execution i just simply will comment that rows and we'll put a count just to see how much records should be in the result as we see 90 millions yep but uh, let's uh, take a look uh, on these two functions which we have in the select clause first one it's a row number over object id so it will give us the simple counter from one till how much objects we have in this table in the second column we add sequential number to the current timestamp in the result for each row we have next day which you can see if we will execute this query that in the first column we have a row numbers from one till uh, 9000 and in the second column we have a dates starting from today till 9000 9, uh, days ahead then in order to use this special sql query with a counter in more complicated queries we can simply use with command and integrate this uh, select statement into the with like you can see in this example here we define the with close and in the next query we use this temporary table dt counter which we define here we use it in the normal sql query and in the same sql query we can define uh, the limitation for how many how many records we want to display let's uh, display in this example only 1000 let's execute and take a look if we will scroll down then you can see that counter finished at uh, 1000 and the date will increase by 1000 days as a next example let's integrate this artificial counter into some statistical query here we have script for table creation then we fill in table with a fake data where we have a sales uh, for july august and september in some days we have a sales then we define with command for one table only for one system table only it means that we will generate uh, 9000 records only but uh, we get back uh, from this uh, with close we get number and dates incremental dates and then in the next next uh, select statement we make query to this counter and we make a left join of this counter with a table 2 which have our statistical data we join these tables by the date then we make limitation that counter shouldn't display more than 92 days because we have just simply two months and we don't need to display more and then we make a group in the result we would like to show the date and sum of quantity and price in case uh, if it's equal to new then should be displayed zero and drop the table at the end let's execute and take a look on the result here is beginning and five great 
take a look. In July, we have sales only for first four days. In the result, we see exactly the same. That after 4th of, of July, all remaining days have zero. For August, we have a different situation. For August, we have a sales at 11th, 12th, 13th, 17th, 20th, 22nd. Exactly the same we see in this result. And if we will need to calculate some statistical KPI, like uh, average uh, sales per day, then you need to use such kind of data. Not to forget about the days when we don't have a sales. So, I showed you example how it's possible to use artificial counter for the dates. I hope it was clear enough. If not, then in the video description you can find the script and you can make analysis of it once again. But uh, what I would like to add that uh, if you will miss uh, 9000 record, you can multiply on the same table and you will get 90 millions. And uh, with the same success, you can use not only the artificial counter for that day, but uh, as well you can use uh, artificial counter uh, for basic numbers. I hope this video was useful. All scripts, as usually, you can find in the video description. Enjoy SQL. Bye-bye.